Kevin Cassius for Eiffel TV in association with MTK Global. We're at the undercard press conference here for Parker and Fury. Fighting on the card this Saturday, Jimmy Kelly. Yep. How are you, mate? Yeah, not bad. Just uh, got to be a pawn of it here. Wants to give him some stick. <laughs> like everyone else here today, yeah, giving yeah. each other stick. I feel like Cinderella without a ball. <laughs> Why do you always look different every time I see you? What's different about you today? I think, uh, I think I've had a kid. And then I noticed like when the baby was born, my hair started falling out. So I'm bald now. Yeah, I had like longer hair, didn't I? But I think uh, the stress of having a kid has made me go bald. It could be. Could be uh, new glasses. Are they new glasses? New glasses. Well, I've had them for a bit. So don't really wear them. <laughs> Save them for a special occasion. <laughs> You're in action this Saturday on, like I said, on the undercard of Parker and, and Fury. Um, yeah, how much have you seen of your opponent, Kostov? He's been in with uh, Brian Rose, I believe. That's yeah. an opponent from, from here that you would have known about. But yeah, he's been in with some decent fighters, but he's been beat by fighters who I don't believe are as good as me. Um, he records just he can punch a bit so I've just got to be sharp mentally and just make sure I don't do anything daft and I'll be, I'll be more than ready. I mean every time people speak to you including myself they always make reference to that one defeat you've had in your career for the world title you want people to kind of move away from that now and kind of forget that now and yeah. sort of focus on you you know you, you mentioned there that a fight you'd like is the Miguel Cotto fight yeah yeah I know people might laugh and stuff like that but you know, it's my dream. I, I remember getting up when I was a kid and watching Cotto when he won his first world title against Kelson Pinto and my dad. And I remember like thinking he was a good fighter. I followed him all the way through. So to um, he's saying he's, had, he's having one more fight. So to end his career on a, on a loss, <laughs> I'll that. just to, just to share the ring with him in a big fight. You know, something I can I can talk to my kids about when I'm old and you know it's something that'll stay with me for the rest of my life. You're right, listen, people on uh, social media probably would give you a stick about mentioning and yeah. Cotto's name, but what are you meant to say? You, you want to aim for the top and you want to fight the best, so yeah, I, I, why, I why can't, can't you mention that? Yeah, exactly. I'll get slagged off if we were just going, oh, yeah, after this fight, I want to fight uh, some journeyman again. They'd be like, he's fucking, well, why you get what I mean? But then if I, if I mention someone at the top, they'll go, they'll slag me off. But I'm not really after. A fight with Cotto is someone that I'd like, and... You know, if that door opened, I'll, I'll travel to New York, I'll travel to Puerto Rico for that, I'll travel to his back garden. I don't blame you, I don't blame you. See you later. Um, what's your thoughts on the, the, the main event between Parker and Fury? I think Parker's uh, got to come out aggressive and try and box, but I just think that he will nullify him. And, you know, I think he'll be awkward, use his movement and switch. I just think that he might, you know, he might frustrate Parker. I think he's got to win a close points decision. No. So, uh, yeah, that's what I think. Anyway, it'd be good to have a world champion for Manchester. Absolutely. All right, Jimmy, have you got anything else you'd like to add, mate? Uh, if anyone could do me like a regain or like a hair transplant. Speak to Derry free. Matthews. Speak to Derry Matthews. Yeah, he had one, didn't he? He had a hair yeah. transplant. I don't know. Quite openly as well. Like, he, he don't. He was walking around Liverpool with, like, uh, you know. Big Leo Sayer. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Have a chat with him, seriously. He might give you a good deal with him. I'll do a two for one or something. <laughs> All right, listen, thank you very much for talking to Eiffel TV and we'll catch up with you ahead of Saturday night. Cheers, mate, thank you. Top now.